I'm not even supposed to be here today. So, since I'm here now, this is my LTA Movie Club review for Clerks. Written, directed, and co-starring Kevin Smith. Now, this movie came out in, like, 94, I think. So I would... or 95. So I was only 11 when it came out, so I can't really say I saw it as soon as it came out. But, a few years later, I did. And it, along with all the other Kevin Smith movies starring James Town Paul, made me realize I love Kevin Smith. <laughs> um, I think I watched some of the other ones before I found out about Clerks, so I already knew um, about the universe of Suchet and Silent Bob. Um, I think it's a great movie. It just tells it like it is. They clearly don't hold back with their use of profanity and lewd talking. Um, I think it was great that they just were able to show a day in the life of someone like this. Um, just a regular guy with normal problems. Um, well, some a little more than normal. <laughs> um, Dante, uh, Brian O'Halloran was great. Um, he really seems like the everyday guy. Um, he's just trying to get by working, dealing with a crush on another, on his ex-girlfriend, dealing with his girlfriend, dealing with an almost insane best friend who loves to get into kooky circumstances. Um, Randall was great. He's was a great um, comedic guy, or comedic character, uh, to play with the Dante straight man character. Um, Jerry and Silent Bob were just great little distractions. Um, and it's amazing to see, <laughs> based on those two guys, that those characters were loved so much they made it into the rest of Kevin's character, er, the rest of Kevin's movies. Um, and then eventually got their own movie in Jerry and Silent Bob Strike Back. Um, which kind of basically just ended the majority of the movie series until Clerks 2 came out later. Um, it was hilarious seeing in the credits uh, one guy playing four roles, another guy playing two or three and that. It just shows that on such a limited budget you can still make a great movie. I think the budget they said was uh, a little over $25,500 yet it made over three million at least, and it's a cult classic. Um, it had a great story, a lot of funny moments, um, like Caitlin going to the back and thinking that, or, yeah, Caitlin thinking that Dante was in the bathroom when it was just some old dead guy, <laughs> and she thought it was the best sex they've ever had, because she was just allowed to do whatever she wanted. Um, just overall, it was a great movie. Um, it had been years since I had seen it before, so I was glad to get the chance with the movie club to go and watch it again. Um, I got it just so I could do the review again. I just needed to watch it again. One, because it's a great movie and I enjoyed it. And two, I wanted to be able to share my opinion on it. But I wanted to make sure I remembered what happened. Um, there were some things that I totally forgot about, like the possible guidance counselor who had gotten crazy and had to find the perfect dozen eggs. Um, it was just really great to see how Kevin Smith's career started from this little movie and how he's done theatrical release movies that have gone nationwide. Um, I won't mention the ones that have failed because we don't need to remember those ones that ever happened. Um, but just his, everyone's career, I think, in that movie has really taken off. A lot of them have stayed within mainly um, the View Askew universe, as it's called. Um, I don't think I've really noticed Randall or Dante um, in things outside of Kevin Smith's projects, but they're great actors, and I really respect them. Oh, have I mentioned? I'm not supposed to be here today! Uh, so that's my review. I give it two thumbs up, and if I had more thumbs, they'd go up too. So, thanks for listening. Bye! Bye.